Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously grant to your church a merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Meletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock, of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away from them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, Night and day, 
I unceasingly admonish each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of His that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way, I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak. And keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Your kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise of the Lord who rise on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Please all stand. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me. I guarded them, and none of them was lost, except the son of destruction, in order that the scriptures might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world, so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but 
that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth as you sent me into the world. So I sent them into the world and I consecrate myself for them so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po, mga kapatid. Kamusta na po kayo? Kamusta po ang ating pananampalataya? Kahimanawari po ang ating pananampalataya ay patuloy na nagdadala ng mabuting relasyon sa ating Diyos. Lalo tigit sa ating kapwa. My dear brothers and sisters, today's gospel is a, lo is a loving and tender passage. Jesus prays and asks His Father to keep His disciples in His name. Jesus longs for His flock to be protected and safe when He is no longer with them. What a caring and loving shepherd we are, we have. Tunay po mga kapatid na sa bang araw-araw natin buhay, kailangan natin ng panalangin. At napakasarap pong isipin na merong isang tao na nagdadasal para sa ating kaligayahan at para sa kaligtasan. And the more na mas masarap sa pakiramdam na Jesus is also praying for us. Jesus prayed for His disciples and even up to now, Jesus is praying for all of us. Praying na sana hindi tayo patuloy na mawala sa piling ng Diyos. Dasal na sana ay patuloy tayo maging ligtas sa kabila ng pagsubok na ating kinakaharap sa mundong ito. Even up to now, Jesus wanted us to be under His wings, under His care. That's why He keeps sending people to attend to all our needs. At kahit tayo, we become instrument of God for all of us to feel His great presence kahit wala na si Kristo sa tabi natin. Clearly, Jesus dearly loved His disciples. He longed for them to share His joy fully and completely. Jesus knew that He would be leaving them and He longed for them to be safe and secure in God's love and care for them. Jesus also longed for His disciples to share the depth of joy He experienced in being one with God. This is also what Jesus wants for us. For all of us, even up today, in our present time, He wanted us to become with the Father and united in Jesus' name despite of our differences. But the sad reality, huma humanity is becoming weaker, consumed by our greed for wealth, power, and destruction. Marami sa atin ay, kan sa ay kanya kanya na siyang sorry, marami sa atin ay kanya kanya na sa panahon natin ngayon. Masyadong focus sa kung ano ang goal sa buhay. Hindi naman po masama. Pero marami sa atin dahil sa kagustuhan na makamit ang goal, nakakalimutan na maging tao. Nakakalimutan na maging makipagkapwa tao. Nagiging selfish na. Nakakalimutan na ang ibang tao. At ito ang kinatatakot ng Panginoong Jesus nung time na siya ay manalangin. Na alam niya mangyayari ito na magkakawatak-watak ang bawat isa dahil sa kanya-kanyang um, pagkakaiba. But then, Jesus is inviting us to be united under His name. 
And all we need today is unity for all parts of the globe, regardless of religion or race. This is what Jesus is waiting from us. And this is also an invitation to all of us. Christians should join in unity and we must offer our deepest prayers for protection. We must overcome any situation that brings us division. We need to be gentle in spirit and a heart that full of patience and understanding. We, mal, we must heal as one, and only prayer can do it to save us all. Jesus never stooped, stopped loving his people. Jesus died on the cross to save us from the great pit of hell because he loves us. The earth belongs to us, but we must not belong to it. It means we must not put care about worldly pleasures. Instead, we must cleanse and sanctify our souls. The world is only a temporary abode because if we die, we will have judgment according to how we live. My brothers and sisters, we must follow the good path step by step and we must share what we have to our neighbors. And lastly, my dear brothers and sisters, the last, the next time na tayo ay titingala sa langit at sa pagtingala natin kay Kristo, katulad ng pagtingala ni Jesus sa Ebanghelyo, Wag natin sanang kalimutan na patuloy na ipagdasal ang bawat isa at patuloy na hingin na magkaisa ang bawat isa at kamtin ang kaligayahan ng magkakasama at may malalim na pananampalataya at relasyon sa ating Diyos. Again, my brothers and sisters, Jesus wants us to be protected and happy. And this is what the gospel in John chapter 17, verse 11 to 19 is telling us. Amen. Please stand. As we prepare for Pentecost, we know that even as we live in the world, we do not belong to the world. This truth calls us to pray for all people in union with Christ, who wills that no one be lost. In every petition, our response be, Father, consecrate us to yourself. Father, Consecrate us to yourself, that all Christians may have faith in God's love and find unity in the one shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, consecrate us to yourself, that public servants may witness to the truth of their faith, especially in the exercise of their powers and in the fulfillment of their responsibilities. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father consecrate, consecrate us, us to yourself, yourself, that the Christian faithful may strive to seek holiness in their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father consecrate, consecrate us, us to, to yourself, yourself, that the old, the lonely, the handicapped, and the sick may trust in God, who strengthens them with the warmth of his presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father consecrate, consecrate us to yourself, yourself, that those who have died may live forever with God, who is love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father consecrate, consecrate us, us to yourself. Gentle Father, as long as we love one another, 
you live in us, and your love will be complete in us. Receive our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate as our dutiful service. Graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder, mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following, where he, our head, the founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Eriberto, John Arnold, and Harold, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Consolation, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Augustine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us, and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Um, announcement po, everyone is invited for the Healing Rosary for the World tonight at 9 o'clock p.m. To, to be led by the Diocesan Shrine of the Most Holy Rosary in Rosario, Cavite. To be led by Father, Reverend Father King Eliasar Peñaranda. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks be to God. <laughs>